1836 and today is Juneteenth, marking the day when the last enslaved people in the United States learned that they were free. It became a designated federal holiday back in 2021. And here in South Central Pennsylvania, several events are taking place today and throughout the week to commemorate Juneteenth. Fox 43's Sedona Meadows is live in Lancaster right now to share more about the day's history and how the city is observing it. Good morning, Sedona. Good morning, Gabby. Uh, just as you mentioned, this day holds a lot of significance, a lot of history. But here to talk a little bit more about Juneteenth's history and its 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 significance is the president of the NAACP Lancaster chapter, Blanding Watson. And Blanding, tell me first and foremost a bit about Juneteenth and its importance. Um, it's important because it's the end of uh, slavery. Um, and obviously we're continuing to pursue uh, justice and uh, work on policies and educational aspects of our culture and history uh, relevant to Juneteenth. And, um, and today, of course, we're going to be having a celebration down here. We'll have some discussion down at Bethel AME Church down the street. Um, we'll also have a light refreshment prior to that event. And all this is taking place after the flag raising downtown Lancaster. Yeah, you just mentioned the flag raising. I know that's happening this morning, which will be super exciting. So um, I know that you guys have been doing this a couple years now. What's the importance of, of the flag raising? Um, the importance of the flag raising, obviously, is to uh, remember history and also is recording. And then also, uh, obviously, we're working with the city and also this is taking place around the country, not just in Lancaster, uh, but an acknowledgement publicly uh, of the uh, ending of slavery um, and its history and significance of slavery. And uh, so it's important for us to continue these dialogues and discussions to educate our community and also educate our officials as well, um, because there's still more work to be done, obviously, in many areas or aspects of uh, health, criminal justice, um, environmental justice, and uh, we need to continue to have these uh, important discussions and, um, and educating our young people and youth, which is the next generation, so that history is not lost. And, uh, and we want to look towards the future, obviously. So there's still more work to be done, and doing these kind of things to raise an awareness of that is important. And so that's why we're having these uh, dialogues and discussions. And then, of course, the NAACP Lancaster branch has been around for over 100 years. We actually celebrated last uh, July 9th. Um, and many of the founders of the NAACP Lancaster branch came out of the AME Church. And it's also significant for us to host this particular event down here because of the significance of the AME Church and how it played a pivotal role in the Underground Railroad in our history. Absolutely. A lot of history here. And, and really quickly, I, I do want to know, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Uh, what Juneteenth means to me is a celebration of our ancestors, uh, where we were and where we're now and where we're going. And, um, and I just happen excited of what they done during the struggle uh, so that we uh, obviously continue to pursue uh, justice and equity uh, for all. And uh, I'm just happy and excited that uh, my ancestors did all this for me and, and many African Americans um, in this country. Awesome. Thank you so much, Blanding. I really appreciate your time uh, this morning and a lot of cool stuff happening this morning uh, in here in Lancaster. But uh, live in Lancaster, Sedona Meadows, Fox 43 News. All right, Sedona, thank you so much. Some great things to keep in mind there and a lot going on in honor in Lancaster, which we love to see. We'll check back in with you soon.